wondering if that boat over there is going to come up one of these ramps. These things here are called ramps, boat ramps. And basically, it's a ramp into the sea, you back up with your trailer with your boat on, and you back up down there and you release the boat uh, from the ramp in the water. And um, make sure everything's unclipped and everything, the boat floats to one side. But what you do is you, you keep hold of a rope on the side there, so it doesn't float away. And start your boat up whilst it's on the side. Um, so you know that it's going to start up nicely. Anyway, look at that big pelican over there. You see it flying in front of that boat? Just over there. Can you see them? There they are. Beautiful, aren't they? Two pelicans. They're very big. Look at the size of the wings on that. I reckon it's probably at least six or seven feet. Two meters, something like that. So I've got a nice little boat here. Um, I was just looking at it coming across through the, uh, the entry to the port over there. And uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's kind of over there a little bit. I was just thinking that would be ideal for my needs, exactly that. I mean, look at it. It's just the perfect size. Um, it's wrapped around, so you've got the cab in there. So I think they call it a half cab. And underneath the, uh, the bow of the boat is a living quarters. You can actually live uh, inside the front of the boat. This one obviously is going to the marina, which is a private marina, which is over there. And I thought, okay, I'll just have a walk over there. But there's actually a massive fence separating people like me from people like these. These people pay quite a lot of money to anchor here. I reckon probably at least five to $10,000 per year, which is about... Um, 200 to 400,000 pesos per year just to put the boat there but it's secure and if you want to steal a boat like that you'd have to actually get in here go along there in the middle of the night and steal the boat and I reckon people have done that and the reason why I've seen this on YouTube oh um, obviously you can't see right over there but I'm looking at the the tide and there's a big um, there's a big tide coming in, I think that called, I think it's called the bar, um, where the sea is going to start rushing back into the port. And I can see this port, it's actually starting to fill up just here. This is not the ripples from that boat, this is from the wind and the, the tide's actually coming in. So I reckon we're going for high tide at the moment. Um, but over there, there's some massive waves. And I'm hoping that a, a boat that looks like that one over there could handle waves like that. But obviously, a part of my plan, uh, my plan is to uh, plan and that's the number one thing that you've got to do is to plan uh, unfortunately the time of year that I'm thinking about going is the cyclone season and uh, first of all I got to buy a boat and um, yeah well buying a boat so I'm gonna uh, I've got I've got access to a little bit of money coming to me and uh, um, I'll probably use that but um, I won't buy it yet if I'm gonna buy one at all it's gonna be in another Maybe 150 days, so how many months is that? About five months, is it? Five? Something like that. About five months' time, something. Oh my gosh, there's a big boat coming in. I think. No, it's a kind of a speedboat. I'm hoping it comes through here, and I'm hoping it comes down here, and I'm hoping it goes to these ramps here. And uh, then I can see another one coming in. Hopefully, um, you can see one live being lifted out of the water but at the moment I don't see anybody coming to pick it up unless the people who are in the boat are the ones which will hand the keys in um, sorry not hand the keys in but actually get out get the keys get their car and back it on now behind it look at that massive thing I have no idea what that is but it is very very big let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you uh, you see that big thing there from here it looks absolutely massive and there's a tiny little boat to the right of it if you can see over there it's got a red line and white on it it is absolutely small in comparison to that massive thing that massive thing there is making massive waves so let's just see what's going to happen with these boats let's go for a walk down here and see if we can get some live stuff going on because this is quite interesting i think i'm going to put this on youtube i just love this stuff so um yeah, it's a bit wobbly is this, because I don't have all that gimbal stuff, I just have my phone. And hopefully we don't run out of mem memory on the card. But here we go. The massive boat's there, as you can see, it's, it's so tall, it's over the top of the, uh, the port area. There's some guys over there fishing, you see those? Right, so, um, let's take another look at those lovely boats over there. You're looking at between, 
Well, there's a boat over there that doesn't look very special. You probably get that for about 20,000 and then all the way up to these catamarans. Actually, the catamarans are not expensive either. It's the cruisers that are expensive. And uh, you, you could pay 255,000 for them. But look at this beauty coming along here. You see the top of it there? I'm walking along here, but you can see is the sea on that side this is the walkway and then we have this on this side but i'm hoping that little boat comes around the corner i don't know what it's doing it was in front of this big massive boat and to be honest i don't know why that massive boat's coming down here but the birds are getting excited look at these a uh, couple of pelicans flying over see them there yep there they are beautiful pelicans Hopefully they're in focus. Can't seem to see it myself because I don't have my eyeglasses on. But um, yeah, here's a little boat coming in. See it there? Hopefully it's focused. Yep, a little orange boat. Now it seems to be going or heading up the side of here. Maybe it's going to go on the beach over there. Look at those beautiful pelicans. Woo! Look at him go. Beautiful. Like dive bombing, bombing. Don't want to lose my keys. Otherwise, I'm actually going to go for a swim and get my keys. But where's the big boat? Oh, it's going over that side. Okay. So, where's the little boat? Little orange boat is coming along here. And <coughs> um, I'll move out of the way if these guys want to get out on this side. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, eh? That's a pelican. Gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. Now this guy here, he's going into the marina. Now, a little boat like that shouldn't really need a marina. Because I think the expense to moor the boat in the marina is the cost of the boat per year, probably. So, anyway, so uh, that big one over there, it looked like some kind of a strange... Maybe it's like a troll, no, like a barge or something that pushes big ships to where they need to be. The one right over there. <clears throat> but look at these beautiful things. That's stretching his neck out. What's all that about? Oh, wow, look at those. And they're lovely. And there's something small there, looks like a... Is that a penguin? Looks like a penguin. Don't think it's a penguin though. I keep staring at it because you know when you get to a certain age, your eyes go strange. But that to me looks just like a penguin. Could be a penguin, who knows. Hey penguin. Probably not a penguin at all, it's probably just like a strange one of these things here. Something like that. But that looks like a penguin. <laughs> oh dear, I'm strange aren't I? I've got to find out if it's a penguin or not. But maybe I should just ask it. I'll just check to see if there's anybody around. Because I might think I'm crazy talking to birds. Excuse me, are you a penguin? Yes or no? That thing right in the middle of the screen, not the big one. The one on the rock there. Looks like a penguin. Can't be a penguin, can it? I don't know anything about what birds should be here and what birds shouldn't be here. It's too fast to be a penguin, I think. I hope these uh, seagulls don't poo on me. Strange, that bird. do not seem to be moving round very fast. Penguins usually waddle, don't they? Yeah. I can't zoom in any more than this, I've tried. But in my mind, if that, if that bird flies away, it's not a penguin. But if it don't fly away and jumps in the sea, it's a penguin. Oh look, we've got another boat just come along here like this. There we are, beautiful. And what a lovely shot that is with a, that seagull there also. That guy over there, he's got his high vis stuff on as if he's going to work. But I suppose it's a good idea sometimes when you mess around in a boat to wear something that you don't really care if you mess it up. Let's go back to the penguin because it's still sat there. 100% I am sure with my 53 year old eyes that that's a penguin in fact I'm so sure about it I'm going over there I'm going to walk down this ramp and I'm going to stare at it hopefully it won't disappear 
So let's walk down here because I'm sure it's a penguin. Let's say penguin 500 times. Penguin. Oh, there's a lighthouse over there. All right, don't go anywhere, penguin. Because uh, I've got the same size legs as a penguin. Not very, uh, not very long. Not the tallest person in the world. I'm not supposed to be with all my parents. My parents were short asses, just like me. Right. So we can get a bit closer. Oh, there's a boat coming in. <coughs> a couple of boats, actually. I wonder if that penguin's going to get scared. Let's just get it. It's a beautiful blue one. Oh, I love that one. It's gorgeous. Right, we're actually about another 18 feet or 20 feet closer to these, this penguin thing. I don't think it's a penguin. Now that I'm closer. Looks like a, some kind of... Oh, I can't tell. Even when I'm here. Look. I think it's just one of those fishing birds. Oh, that guy's going to... It's going to moor up and uh, they're going to tie it to that pontoon just over there. There's another one going out backwards. So this one's slightly bigger. It's probably about five metre boat with a Yamaha on it. And then we've got a catamaran here, this orange and white one. And it's a uh, sea rescue. So that's a bit special, isn't it? Right, I'm looking at this penguin very closely. Here we go. What do you think? Is it a penguin? <coughs> it's just kind of sat there, so I don't know. Look at that beauty. Yeah, there you go. Look at this sea. It's kind of gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that majestic one. Beautiful. And then the penguin. Oh, well, it's not a penguin. It's walking funny. That's not a penguin. Who said it were a penguin? Some idiot. And then here's a nice little white one with a mercury. Four-stroke engine. And let's see, uh, all of a sudden I've become an expert on boats. That's all I've done for the last few days, is learn about boats. <coughs> Seems to be leaning to one side. Ah, it's probably because both of the guys are on the same side of the boat. So now I've learned something about that. There. Oh, look at this little blue thing coming in. See that? It's like a blue dinghy or something. Right in the centre of the screen there, I'll just follow it in. There's no collision. Now, he went to the right and he went to the to the right because they were facing each other. And that's called giving way to each other in the sea. He turns right and he turns right. So he's gone out. I'll be heading to the, uh, the mouth of the port to go out to sea. And this guy looks like he's got a dinghy and some fishing fishing gear. He's uh, He's just coming in. I wonder how he's going to get that out. I don't see any vehicle here. Anyway, if he does, he'll probably come in here and uh, and drag it up there somewhere. He's probably got a trailer. But no, he's uh, he's also going to the marina. And there he is, heading over that way. That's a tiny little boat in it to have a couple of people on. I don't see any life jackets on these guys. They must be quite confident. But that boat's actually quite low in the uh, quite low in the sea. There, it looks like he's weighting it down at the front. There's too much weight on the back, so that might be a little bit dangerous, to be honest. But that's just a guess. Remember, I'm only new to this over the last uh, week or so. But I'm going to learn as much as I can. Now I can hear a boat, but I can't see it. So what we might do is. We might just disappear back up to the car park so we can see from afar. Now look, there's a car parked here. They're not allowed to be there, so they're anticipating something happening. It sounds like they're waiting for a boat to come back. Unless it's part of this family here. The sea is very flat at the moment. And this is what I want when it's time to make my escape. Because I don't want to be here. Because I've heard a rumour, basically, that... Um, um, this COVID thing's not going to not going to open up um, Australia until 
possibly March next year. Well, it's July and I've been here alone since March. So I'm only a year on my own. Now, it's the flights that are opening up. And I've heard that the Philippines is going to open up to long-term visa passes for foreigners who return to the Philippines. So a long-term visa pass is a person who has some kind of link with the Philippines, such as a married man or... He has a part share in a business, which foreigners, foreigners are allowed to do, as long as you don't own, own the whole company. You can own, by law, 48% of it. And then the other shareholders own the rest. Anyway, um, there's nothing going on here now. Um, I might actually head back to my accommodation and upload this to YouTube or something like that. I will just say goodbye to that guy. He's very happy in the sun. But I mean, these things have got massive wings. And yep, I agree, that's not a penguin, but it's something similar. I think it's a penguin impersonator. That little thing there. I don't know if you can still see it, it's just there. But what we'll do is, oh, they've got a, they're backing down to get a boat out. Oh, it's the dinghy that came in. It's over there, behind that blue boat. There's a dinghy in the water and you see the car coming down the ramp there. It's going to go collect the dinghy. Now, you leave the dinghy out, you start with the engine, you put, and then you, you drag it on. You drag it onto the, uh, onto the, uh, onto the back there. Sometimes they ride them up. So far I can see only one person in the uh, in the dinghy so I'm supposed to be doing the Yumi travel thing again today but um, we still have someone who's not feeling too good so that person's not coming on to uh, say anything on Yumi Travel. So we're gonna get around to it at some stage. All we need is uh, maybe a little bit of help. Now, Lynn, Lynn's only got uh, a really poor internet connection. Um, so maybe it's gonna be me, but just for now, um, we'll say goodbye and I'll disappear back to the van. Or shall we, shall we walk up together? This is quite a long video, 17 minutes and 43 seconds so far. Now, look here. We have a vehicle which has just arrived and it's got a trailer. That means it's been notified that a, yep, is in the retrieve lane. So he's going to retrieve a boat and he's going to back down into this one, which is a good idea that I get off of here. I think he's going to back down when it's time to collect it. It must be coming in from over there somewhere. So just nip this down again like this and you can see the real distance never understood phone, uh, phones because I can see that jetty over there and it's a lot closer than it is on this image the reality of this image in my eyes is actually it's about yeah, about that big so why do phones always make things further away I've never understood that <coughs> I can hear the Yamaha engine I think it's a 25 but I am an expert because I know about these things because I've been studying it for a full week. Right, let's take a walk and we'll go back to the van. Where is she? She coming in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice one. So he's waiting for one to come around. He's just going to hang around on the edge. So he must have had the phone call. Um, but I can't see one at the moment. It's quite possible that it's out to out to sea right out there. Don't know if you can see the white dot on the horizon. It might even be this blue one. Who knows? <coughs> anyway, let's get back to the van. Looks like it is the blue one coming up. Yep, it definitely is. So that blue one there is going on that trailer just there. Nice. Right, let's go. Back to the vehicle. I think it's up here somewhere. 
possibly. There's a helicopter. There it is. Somewhere in the picture. I can't see it because it's glary. But it's up there in the sky somewhere. Right. The van is somewhere behind this toilet block. Unless, of course, it's been stolen. Which is not such a bad thing, to be honest. <coughs> Let's uh, nip in here, this bushland, and Let's take a look at the retrieval of this this boat. Why not? My van's over there somewhere. Yeah. I think they're going to be there for a while, just doing preparations or whatever. So we maybe we should just go. There we go. Right. There's a little little bay area down there. Okay. Look at all those boats that are broken. It's like a graveyard. See them? <coughs> so the question is, would my van be enough, there is the one at the front, the white one, to pull a trailer like that with a boat on it? That's the question. So the trip from Northern uh, Australia to the Philippines to Davao actually is 1,277 nautical miles. That's the, uh, that's the distance that I'd have to travel in a boat to go home. If they're not going to reopen the flights, I'm going to take myself home. Alright, see you. I'm going in there and drive back to where I'm staying over there. Bye bye, see you, take care.